up and welcome back to the Elite Journeyman. I'm j &O. Welcome to the channel and welcome to episode number three as we try to attempt to take Ajax in our first job to the Eredivisie title before we can move on to other clubs. The rules are to the side of me there. We are trying to make sure we go across all the nations I've loaded up and win as many league titles as possible. Kind of giving ourselves three years in each league really to have some sort of success in winning the league title. So hopefully we can do that here in our first job as Ajax manager. We are currently trying to qualify for the Champions League. We just drew two all in the past episode with Sporting Lisbon and that was at home. So we need to win away to get into the Champions League. Other than that, we did win our first game in the Eredivisie. It was a tough one, though, as we did go 1-0 down to Heracles before coming back to win 2-1. But today, we are against FC Groningen at the Amsterdam Arena, so hopefully we should be looking at a victory today. After that, we will be looking at the Sporting Lisbon second leg away. Massive, massive game to end this episode. So, fingers crossed, boys. Fingers crossed. So the lineup we are going with, we are starting with Dolberg up top with Clivert and Schoen on either side. Schoen is a Ram Deuter. Usually that would be Neres, but he got injured in the last game. We've got Sink Graven taking Schoen's spot at the advanced playmaker. We have Van der Beek as box to box, who seems to love a shot from distance. Iting is playing a deep lying playmaker. In fact, we will change that to Frankie de Jong because I think he's fit again. And we do have our first link in the team. They are starting to learn to play rather well together, our Frankie de Jong and Van der Beek. We have Dykes, Wober, Veltman and Aurelieu at the back with Onana in goal. Ideally, if we can, though, Delete will come in for Wober. And that is our starting eleven for this game. First game in the Redebeze at home in front of the Ajax faithful. We are playing a team playing a 4-1-4-1, so a lot of men back there. We may need to put our mentalities a bit lower to kind of play in front of those, uh, in front of those two blocks of four. We're probably going to come up against. Tell them we should be winning. We've got three greens. That would do. Can we expect an attack and focus from your team today? You can expect me to maybe try and say my words a bit better. Uh, and we'll go straight into the game because these episodes are rather long. But I'm, when I went to key highlights, we really didn't have many highlights at all. So we're on extended. When the match isn't playing, we're on very fast. We might just boost that a little bit. It might mean the play is very quick. But ideally, we do want to try and shorten the episodes down just a little bit. They are rather long at the moment because I'm trying not to edit as much so I can at least be consistent with the upload schedule as Van der Beek now has it back heel to St. Graven plays it to Cliver Cliver to Van der Beek Van der Beek with a shot from distance again I, I don't like it's just a little bit too fast isn't it just a little bit too fast that's my personal opinion just a tad just doesn't feel like I'm actually watching a football game if I watch it that quick Okay, so FC Groningen do have the ball at the moment. Hopefully we can press them, make them make a mistake, win the ball back. It is a ball over the top. We do have defence there, though. No one gets a foot in, though. We have forced them to play it back. They've played another ball over the top. We have one possession back. That's what we want to see. Orelizu now to Sink Graven, who did rather well against Sporting Lisbon when he was brought on. Uh, hasn't got the best finishing though, so we don't want to see him taking any shots ideally. Runs into trouble. Uh, Clivert looks like he's picked up a knock, which is great. We're getting injuries left, right and centre at the moment. Uh, Van der Beek again with a shot from distance. Van der Beek, what's your issue? We might need to look at his traits. Maybe he has a player trait that makes him shoot often. Oh, they've got men overlapping. This isn't good. Orelaju, can you get a foot in? Don't foul. You fouled. Hopefully today we won't give a penalty in the dying minutes when we're 2-1 up. Because that's what I'm really worried about. Because we did it twice last episode. Right, Dolberg is now running forward. He's got some pace. 
doesn't play it to shown, which is disappointing. However, we have found Sink Graven, who isn't the best at shooting. It did look like it went off the bar, though, or the post, after the keeper saved it. So not awful by Sink Graven, but he isn't the one I'd want to see in there when we're getting a chance. Cliver might need to be assessed at half-time. Puts the ball in. Sink Graven, oh, oh, wow. Oh, there we go. Shown has put in the rebound, but Van der Beek almost finally got the screamer he's been looking for for the last three or four games. And then Shown is there to put away the rebound. Cliver there with a decent ball in it. Looks like Sink Graven tries to head it on to Dolberg, who can't get his head on it. Van der Beek with a volley. It's saved by Pads. And then uh, Shown gets the rebound with the goalkeeper on the floor. 1 0 up. 25 minutes in. If we could grab another one, I'd feel a lot more comfortable. With one possession there, Frankie de Jong to St. Graven to Clivert. Clivert running forward with the ball. Plays it back to St. Graven. St. Graven plays it to Clivert. Clivert back to Van der Beek. To St. Graven. To de Jong. De Jong back to St. Graven. To Dolberg. To de Jong. To St. Graven. To Clivert. To Dolberg. This is nice. But Dolbo's finish is just a little too high over the crossbar. We are getting chance after chance though, boys. I think that's why the episodes have been so long. is because we're creating so much. We're just not getting a really big scoreline. Because we're not finishing our chances. I thought Van Der Beek was going to shoot. I'm not going to lie. Oh dear, that's not looking good. They've cleared it. Why he shot from there, I don't know. Vel de Week. That shot was weak. Okay, Orelijo on the right. Plays it into Dolberg. Plays it to St. Graven. Didn't want St. Graven shooting. Oh, they've got Harry Kane at right back. Not sure that's his best position. but uh, Frankie de Jong now has it. Van der Beek. St. Graven can play it back to de Jong. Plays it back to St. Graven. Fine shown on the right. Plays it back to Veltman. Who plays it into St. Graven. Tries to find Clivert, doesn't quite manage it, but Delete does win the header, so we've got possession back. Clivert, Clivert through to Dolberg. What can Dolberg do? He's hit the crossbar. Why do we not score often? Nine shots, three on target. Like Dolberg with the free kick. Was that another crossbar? Are you serious? This game does not like me, boys. This game does not like me. If they score now... <sighs> How have we not scored more than two in a game yet? Sorry about the yawn. As some of you that follow me on Twitter know, a little bit of a stressful time at the moment in the family household, but we are still trying to churn out uploads. We're still trying to... There will be, hopefully... Some FPL episodes on the other channel as well. But yeah, a little bit tired. Just a tad. I wasn't paying attention there, but Delete almost scored. From a corner. St. Graven now to De Jong. De Jong to Delete. Delete to Dykes. Dykes back to Veltman. Okay, we're going to go in at half-time 1-0 up. Would have preferred to have been a little bit better off than that. Uh, we will, just to be on the safe side, take off Clivert. Who can we play on the left? I think we'll go Cherney again. I mean, we could give someone else a go, but Cherney's the one that I remember some decent performances from in this position during pre-season. So we'll go with Cherney. And we'll say... Guard against complacency to keep them focused. Let's go out and see this game off and be uh, six points for six out of two games for the start of the season. Not that you needed all those numbers because I'm sure you guys can do the maths as well. It's not like football maths is too difficult. Okay, we've gone five minutes without anything, but Dykes now has the ball on the left. De Jong plays it back to him, into St. Graven, into Dolberg. Nice little triangle play here. Cherney tries to beat their keeper at the near post, and he does get a hand to it and save it for a corner. But that was nice passing movement there. 
uh, by the Ajax boys. Shown loses out to Memesic, but we should be picking that one up, so it's all good. Okay, St. Graven on the left. Crosses it in. <sighs> Boltman should have surely had a better attempt than that. Like, seriously, how are we not scoring more goals? Right, so who's playing really badly? Dolberg isn't having the best game, and now he's picked up an injury. So we will allow Huntelaar to come on and see what Huntelaar can do. Huntelaar probably now going to go score a hat-trick and give me a bit of a headache because Cherney is dribbling, and wow. I mean, surely... Apologies. Surely you could have cut back and played it to someone there. Orajulu. Orajula. Orajula. I will learn how to say his name straight away. St. Graven now plays it to Cherney. Cherney can play it down the line to Dykes. Dykes inside to St. Graven. To Van der Beek. Back to De Jong. To St. Graven. To Van der Beek. To St. Graven. I'd have liked to turn from Van der Beek there. He's played it to Hunslar though. Hunslar. Oh, come on. What is wrong with my team? I could do a compilation of just doing that. Because I've done that so many times in the last two episodes. St. Graven into the box. It's cleared by their defender. Decent ball in though. We now have Orajula. Plays it to De Jong. De Jong can play it inside. Plays it across field to Dykes who has plenty of space. Looks inside to St. Graven. St. Graven's lost the... Oh, he's won it back to be fair to him. That was well played. Shown, however, was not on the ball there. Van der Beek thought he could run through on it and uh, Shown just didn't make the run. Whereas I feel like Neres might have. Okay, it's now actually FC Groningen trying to make an attack, but Cherney wins the ball back. Cherney, there's a simple pass back there. Thank you. There we go. Triangles. Just keep playing the triangles. Cherney, inside to Van der Beek. Shoots from distance. <sighs> Van der Beek, what is your issue? Might take the lead off with like 15 minutes to go just to make sure he doesn't grab a red and give away a penalty in the box. Because I just have a feeling if it happens again, that's three games in a row. De Jong now, St. Graven, back out wide to Dykes. Dykes, plenty of time on the ball. Cherney, Cherney comes forward, plays it to St. Graven, back to De Jong, to Van der Beek. Over the top to Dykes, St. Graven, St. Graven into Van der Beek. Great touch, plays it to Schoen, plays it to Huntelaar. Decent, decent volley to be fair. That was, wasn't half bad. It wasn't on target still, but it wasn't half bad. Huntelaar with a free kick. Over. Why is Huntelaar taking? Have I not set my free kick takers? I thought I had. But the fact that Huntelaar's taken one makes me feel like I haven't. Don't you dare concede now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, really? Really, game? Really, really, really? That's a great finish, though, to be fair. Wow. It's not like all my shots are coming from distance. I mean, some of them are. I'm not going to lie. Van der Beek takes way too many long shots. Stop yawning while you're recording a video, Jano. Anyway, Van der Beek out wide to Orajula. Orajula to St. Graven. Van der Beek has space. Now you can shoot. I mean, I'd have still preferred a better shot than that, but... Really? We're going to draw our first home game when we've had 58% possession, 24 shots, 6 on target. They've had 4 shots, 1 on target. And their 1 shot on target was an absolute belter. De Jong, St. Graven, Van der Beek. Are they trying to force it too much? St. Graven finds Dykes. Dykes, cross it. Do not shoot from that distance unless you're going to pull out like the fireworks. I mean, maybe it's just we can't win two games in an episode. So hopefully, by drawing this game, we might win the sporting one. Whew. 
we've almost conceded. And I'm still yawning. I'm, I really apologise. The last thing you guys want to see is probably my tonsils. So, yeah, it looks like game over, boys. Game over at one apiece. Not the ideal start to the season, especially not the ideal first game at home. And we are going to tell him we're disappointed with that. That was not good enough. Yeah, you're motivated, but you were motivated after the Sporting Lisbon loss. And then you, well, not lost, draw. And now you're drawn against FC Groningen. So we're going to go and play the Sporting Lisbon game and hopefully get a result from that one. Okay, boys, so we are getting into the second game of this episode. It is the away game at Sporting Lisbon. We are trying to win this game to get into the Champions League. If we don't win this game, we need to draw it by scoring more than two goals. So it's not looking likely. We are going to drop the mentality to standard. Uh, we are also going to bring back Dolberg and try the shadow striker on attack. Uh, we're bringing Ziek in at the Ram Deuter role, so Schoen can go back into the advanced playmaker role. Hopefully that will work wonders for us. We only allowed five substitutes, did that say? I don't know, five substitutes outside the match squad, so everyone in here is fine. I'm going to bring in Cherney for De Jong, though. Alright, so here we go. Can we pick up the win that's the question again in the comments down below for big games i'm going to ask you guys to try and predict the result before the result happens it's two all at the moment on aggregate what will the final score be in this game because that's basically going to decide who goes through and who goes home okay come on boys They came to our backyard and managed to get a draw. Let's go to their backyard and get a win. Contral is their left back. I really do feel like Sporting's team is probably individually each player. They probably win more battles than uh, they lose. Again, we're starting off strong, but we started off strong last game. That's a good ball over. A little bit more on that and Ziek could have been through on goal. I'm liking how this game is starting. But I liked how the last game against Sporting Lisbon started as well, didn't I? So that isn't necessarily a good omen of what's to come. Hopefully if we go 2-0 up by half-time again, I won't mess it up and concede twice. 10 minutes gone with very little action, which means we're stopping them from getting a lot of chances, which is good. But, like I said, we need goals now. We need to score. Because right now, they're going to go through. A nil-nil draw does not help us at all. Alright, Orijula plays it to De Jong. De Jong inside to Van der Beek. One more inside to Schoen. Schoen through to Dolberg. Has to be. Dolberg right at the keeper. It's offside anyway. But come on, Dolberg. Really. Really. Straight at the keeper. You're meant to be a future, like, star. And you can't put it either side of the keeper. Are you serious? This is getting quite irritating, to be fair. We are getting chances. We're creating chances. The passing and the movement is great. It's the finishing that is awful. Uh, apparently, Dolberg has a tight Achilles. And wants to be substituted off as soon as possible. Uh, it's starting to rain now, which may not help our play that much, as Schoen should play it back to Ziek. He doesn't. He tries to run down the line. He kind of lofts it into a strange area, and now Gelson is coming forward. He's got the pace. He could find someone in the box with this cross. He does great save by Onana. I feel really weird when I say Onana's name. I feel like I'm overpronouncing it or something. But Oh, Cliver Dilly Dally's on the ball. They've now got it again. Acuna. Contrao is in so much space. Again, he's going to whip in across. Dost should have done better there with that, to be honest. Don't like those two breaks there. But we do need to go for goals. That's the issue.
Right, that's what we're going to go with, I think. We're going to up the mentality to control. And then... We're just going to let the boys go out with a clear mind and hope and pray that the boys can get something from this. Van der Beek to Cliver. Van der Beek's going to pick it up again. Ziek. Ziek plays it back inside to Schoen. We just lose possession. I have a feeling... I don't know if we go in the Europa League if we don't go through in this leg. I'm hopeful of that because I don't see us winning this. I don't see us getting the victory. Although at 0-0 you never know what can happen. We only need one as long as we don't concede to go through. De Jong to Schoen. Schoen shot. I thought it was in. I actually thought that was in but I think it hit the... Uh, whatever that pole is behind the goal that was close though that was very very close Schoen almost becoming a hero as Cliver picks this up plays it to Ziek. Ziek shoots if you don't have the pace to beat the defender there I'm a bit worried it is Contral though as far as I'm aware Contral does have some decent pace uh, Dykes now to De Jong to Van der Beek Van der Beek with a shot from distance are we surprised no, not at all. Uh, 6.4 for Ziek, Not doing well in that role at all. So we're going to give it to Schoen. And then Sinkraven can come on. sinkraven has been decent for us. Probably decent enough to be in the first team. But Alright, Veltman to Sinkraven to Van der Beek. Back to De Jong to Sinkraven. Sinkraven to Van der Beek. Van der Beek tries to play it through to Schoen. Schoen plays it back to Sinkraven. St. Graven back to Dykes Dykes to Cherney Cherney to St. Graven plays it out wide to Dykes who has space can he find a good ball into the box that was dangerous but there was no one attacking it that was a good cross but there was no one attacking it now Sporting are coming forward it's played behind the defence Dumbia no that's not what we needed at all that's not what we needed at all we're going to go to attacking. And lower the tempo to normal. Uh, be more expressive. Run a defence. Trying to exploit the flanks of our wing backs. We're just we're trying anything now. We will try absolutely anything because we now need two in twenty minutes to go through into the group stages of the Champions League it's a Kuna now with a cross ok balls all over the place but Kuna's picked it up Kuna takes a shot on Nana with the save it's a shame boys it would have been nice to get some Champions League money in the Kofas uh, for the January transfer window we do have it with Shone right now who should you just had to hold it up and then play it through to the runner. That shouldn't have been that difficult. Looks like any dream of playing Champions League football is slowly slipping away. Van der Beek with a shot from distance. Van der Beek, what is your issue? I mean, it was on target, so you know. might have to rest a lot of my starting 11 because it's been a tough period with games very close together um, next game is against Venlo who uh, some of you may know but ideally we should be winning that Venlo game then again we should have won the Groningen game alright De Jong to Sinkraven to Van der Beek to De Jong to Sinkraven back to Van der Beek forward to Schoen Schoen into Kluivert oh wow was that, a sh was that a shot, Clivert? Because if that was a shot, I could have done better than that with my left foot, and I'm right-footed. The play until we get it to a striker is great. Wow, it's, it's done. It's done, boys. Stick a fork in us. We are done. Not the greatest of starts to a series out of the Champions League when we were 2-0 up at half-time in the first leg. 
Dumbia has destroyed us on the counter. But our finishing has been dreadful. They've had six shots, four on target, two goals. We've had eight shots, two on target, zero goals. Just shows you who's actually doing something with their chances and who isn't. It's Sink Raven now to De Jong. De Jong to Cherney. Saved by Patricio. Sporting is a team that I wouldn't mind managing in this series at one point or another. I do seem to have a decent side, but a lot of the Portuguese sides have decent teams, to be fair. But then Ajax aren't pushovers. I mean, we did have a great start to the first half. We are playing some nice football until we actually have to take a shot. As soon as we have to take a shot, we suddenly go from, like, Barcelona to Limin Dagnam and Redbridge. I'm not even sure if that's the right team name. Ah, oh, well, we tried. That's all you can ask of us. It is our first season. We've not been able to make any transfers. If I was able to make transfers, I would have brought a striker, purely because the strikers have been terrible for me so far. And that is full-time. We are out. So let's quickly go and have a look and see where that leaves us as far as Europe's concerned. Why are you looking stressed, Justin? You weren't good at all. I'm not even justifying you with a response so what happens to us looks like sporting go through to the group stages of course but what happens to good old ix come on i want to know do i go do i get put in europa or am i just out of europe now is it in my schedule there's nothing in my schedule do i have no european football now Oh, well, we'll have to find out next episode. But we're not in the Champions League. That is for definite. But thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode. As always, it's always greatly appreciated. If you could hit that thumbs up button for me, it would be amazing. It really does help the video get some traction on YouTube. I've been JNO, and remember, have fun gaming. <laughs>